But anyway, I went to Texas A&M and I, you know, I just, I met a lady from Planned Parenthood. I didn't know anything about Planned Parenthood. My first abortion was not at Planned Parenthood. And so I thought, uh, you know, that she started telling me about them and said, you know, they provide all this great, all these great free services to people who are uninsured or underinsured, you know, exams and, and all this testing, you know, and I thought, well, that's so sweet. And she told me then that they provide abortions, too. And I thought, oh, well, you know, I'm pro-life. And, you know, I, I, I didn't admit then that I'd already had an abortion. I Man, I hadn't told anybody that I'd had an abortion. You know, I thought, well, if I just don't talk about it, then I can just pretend I didn't have one. And so I... Um, I got involved with Planned Parenthood, and, and you know, she just said, we're, you know, our goal at Planned Parenthood is to keep abortion rare. You know, we want to re reduce the number of abortions. And I knew I'd heard that before. I mean, don't we hear politicians say that? Don't we hear people in the media say that? I mean, politicians don't lie. <laughs> I mean, unless you're one in here, I'm sure you don't. But I, I, I thought, I, well, it must be true. I mean, I've heard it before. And, and so, I, you know, I, I just thought, okay, well, I'm on board. I'm in, you know. But, you know, <laughs> the first, the first uh, line in Chapter 3 of my book is, don't ever make a decision, don't ever trust a decision that you wouldn't tell your mother about. And... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the mom back there is like, yeah. Um, and, you know, I mean, I didn't tell my mom about my first abortion. I didn't tell her about any of my abortions. But I, I also did not tell my parents for a year and a half that I was volunteering at Planned Parenthood. And, I, you know, I kept that a secret from them. And I thought, well, if I, if I get enough good stories about what we're doing at Planned Parenthood, then they just won't care about the abortion part. Right? I'll just convince them that everything that we're doing is so good, they just they'll overlook it. Well, they did it. Overlook it. And when I did tell them, they cared. Um, <laughs> surprise. And so I, you know, but I didn't care. I was, by that time, I mean, I was totally, I was doused in hot pink. Right? I was, I was in it. My veins bled hot pink. And, uh, and so I, I was in it, and, um, and I, was, I believed in elective abortion on demand, and I was, I was in it. I was in the fight. I was in the pro-choice battle. I was one of those people lobbying for abortion rights. I was one of those people up spreading lies about Planned Parenthood. I mean, lies I believed. But I was one of those people deceiving others. And I was getting promotions, and I was getting raises, and I had a 401k with matching. And when I first got it, I didn't even know what that meant, but I knew it was probably pretty good. And I, and I, you know, I, I was getting all of these promotions. I was making, I was hitting it big. I, I was, I was their employee of the year in 2008, and I, I thought I've hit it big time, right? And my reward for that was was going to this really fancy dinner, their annual gala, and I, I got to sit next to Hillary Clinton. I know you're all fans, and <laughs> just. Calm down. <laughs> no standing old for Hillary. Um, and I, I was, I mean, I, I was like, this is it. I mean, I'm meeting all these famous people, you know, supporters of Planned Parenthood. I, I mean, I thought, this is great. This is going to be me. This is going to be my life. I'm going to retire with Planned Parenthood. I really thought that was going to be my life. And I... You know, I, and, and ironically, those of us that were going to retire with Planned Parenthood, you know what they called us? Lifers. Oh. <laughs> That's ironic, huh? I don't want to know what they call me now. <laughs>